Hey guys, this is White Tech, and today I'll be showing you how to motion track in Cinema 4D R16 and up. So you might be wondering why am I GTA 5? Well, the simple answer is I'm going to use GTA 5 as my footage. So let me go into first person here, and so I'll have this wall here on a top of a building, and I'm going to use this as my footage. So it doesn't have too many objects in the way. It doesn't have any objects in the way actually. Not too many shadows, and it's a uh, pretty nice scene to motion track with so let me just come here and do like a cinematic look perfect and I'll just save that and I'll be back in uh, the next step okay so now I'm in Premiere Pro and you just want to export your footage as a JPEG sequence so as you can see I have my footage I'll edit it out here and you just want to go to file export and media so if you don't have uh, Premiere Pro you could use After Effects I'm sure there's all sorts of program that does this just google it I'm sure you'll find it and I just want to output it to a new folder I call it sequence and let me just call it footage you want to call it something without any numbers so it does not uh, interfere with the numbers of all the frames so my frame rate, I want it at 30. I know I filmed it at 60, but 30 is uh, 60 is kind of a lot of frames. And I just made this video five seconds long, just because I do not want too many frames to uh, to process. So after everything's done, just hit export. I'm in Cinema 40. I'm gonna want to go to Motion Tracker and click Full Solve. So load up the first footage, 000, and double click it. It's going to take a little bit, and you're just going to want to sit back, relax, grab a drink, and wait for the uh, motion tracker to finish doing it, what it's supposed to do. Okay, so once it's done, it's going to give you a camera, and if you press play and watch the camera move it, it should be the same as the uh, footage I just shot. So let me go in the camera here. You're gonna if you click solve camera, the uh, green dots and the pink purple dots are gonna uh, follow the footage. So that means it's a pretty good track. We can work with it. So next we're gonna have to do uh, constraints. So let's start off with the uh, position constraints. That's where your middle of your scene is gonna be. So go up to motion tracker constraints and create a position constraint. So since it's the middle, I'm going to want to click it somewhere in the middle here. So that's perfect. So next you're going to want to do a planar constraint. And that's the uh, floor of your scene. So obviously this is our tiles. So I'm going to go and create a planar constraint and choose three dots that would make up my floor. So this one, this one, and this one. So you're going to want to go to Axie and click the Y axis. So it's going to turn green. And that means that this is now the floor so your uh, your scene is going to align with the floor so I'm going to want to go here with solve camera now and I'm just going to align uh, just going to align this why is it not Yeah, I want to move. I want to rotate this, but I can't right now. There you go. Okay, so I'm just gonna want to move this. Don't know why that happened, but right here, you go to top view. Just align this wall here with the uh, the cubes. So let me go here just align it till I hit the line like this so now if you go back to the camera oops, and go here and click solve camera you'll see the floor is pretty aligned with the footage well, that's perfect so if I import a cube and go right here and just drop it to the floor 
So this is where the floor is. It looks like it's actually on the scene. So if I had time, uh, I would create the walls with uh, planes, but since this is just a tutorial, I'm going to skip all that. Just do it easy by just putting some text. So I'm just going to go to Mo Text and bring it here. I moved the uh, camera, that's why the position is out of there. So it's, you, you'd want to move the position here, but I don't have time for that. So I'm going to write white tech all in caps. Okay, and choose the font. Uh, what font should I use? Do I have a... Uh, hmm. Bebus new. I'll choose this text. So here, white tech. Do that. I can add a little bit of rotation. And if I do this correctly, it's going to follow the scene and look like it's actually on there. So obviously this wall goes, okay, never mind. I thought this wall would go in front of the text, but if I would have went a little bit further, it would, but this is fine like that. So just make sure the scene follows correctly. You can even turn off the motion tracker just like the red dot here click it twice so we don't see all those uh, annoying dots so next we want to go to render settings and right click turn on ambient occlusion so when you render this oh shoot I forgot to do a floor my bad so you're gonna want to add the floor and a background and you're gonna want to create a material so double click on the materials tab double click on the material itself and go to texture and browse for the same footage you just added for the uh, motion tracker so no and then click on this image go to animation and calculate want to exit that out and drag that to your floor and to your background so on the floor you're going to want to go down uh, you're going to want to click on the material floor and projection go to frontal so next you're going to want to go to right right click on floor cinema 4d tags and compositing here you want to want to check compositing background and uncheck self shadowing so when you render this it should give you a clean clean footage with your text on it So here you see that the floor doesn't actually move with the scene so what I uh, like to do is here go and hide the uh, floor so now you see only that make sure that you drop everything on the floor though before you try to align stuff just because you might think it's actually closer to the camera that it is but it might just be under the floor and that might mess you up So let me just do a little bit of uh, object uh, depth, put a little bit more depth. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll try to answer questions if anybody has them. And I'll see you guys next video.